They are dead. I've been seeing your face a lot. In photos and in visions. So I guess there are some things that need to be said. Or let go of. Or healed. Or, hell, I don't know. Oh, hey, how are you? I wonder what you'd say if you could answer that. Never mind. I just heard exactly what you'd say. Besides seeing your face, I've been reminded of you over the past few years. A couple months ago, I told my daughters and the oldest's boyfriend that they should pay attention when someone is showing or teaching them something that they're not interested in at that time. Her boyfriend had offered to fix something on my car. What began flooding my mind were memories of all the times standing or sitting or mostly squatting next to you underneath the open hood of a vehicle or on the ground with you under it. What was I doing? (laughs) My best at listening for instructions on where next to move the flashlight. What else was I doing? Also listening to your explanations about the motor and such. What was I not doing? Retaining any of your explanations about the motor and such. (laughs) I did learn about tools though. So thank you. You recognize that I wasn't into girly things, and I appreciate the things I learned from you. So what were you doing as I pretended I could be the best mechanic assistant? And what were you doing a lot? Wrinkling your eyebrows a bit, pausing whatever you were doing with your head tilted to the side, scratch your chin with your thumb, with a cigarette in the other hand, and then laugh. I wonder what you were thinking. Maybe you didn't know what to say. You were quiet a lot. Until you had a story you wanted to tell the four of us. In the twilight hours. (laughs) As we're lined up in chairs facing you. (laughs) It's comical to think about now. But it was so serious then. It bothered me that I couldn't tell how much of it was truth. Only now when I think back, I can see there was a lot of symbolism in some of the things you said. Now I wish I'd have known to ask the right questions. It must be hard to know that I didn't trust you. I trusted you at times to make us breakfast before school, cinnamon sugar toast or toast with melted cheese or that cereal that came in the bags. (laughs) I trusted you to deliver a whole lecture when I wanted to learn something. Right now is a time I want to learn something, but I'm guessing that I don't get a free lecture. Mental illness and addiction are subjects I know quite a bit about. What it is that I want to learn is what you'd say about what was going on in your mind at certain points in time. Do you remember? So, while this world sees mental illness as, hey, you get a diagnosis. Now get you a prescription, have some literature on how to live in the world with a disorder, when the root of it is spiritual. Metaphysical things tend to get completely disregarded in this society, but I get it. And I think you got it too. But do you remember? Do you remember? Why my eyes burned so badly as we left a fishing spot? I ended up blaming it on sweat. 
I remember feeling the sting suddenly right before we got in the truck. Do you remember why you made holes in the bathroom door? Was it because you were paranoid that someone was doing something they shouldn't? Or were they really peep holes? Were they really? Do you remember telling me I could stay up later than the others? As I swept the floor when I was 10, something was up and I knew not only because I had already been touched by a person as a young child, but because you weren't you. In your eyes, it was your body, but it wasn't you inside. Where did you go? Where did your soul go? I hope it ended up returning and not continuing to roam around Earth still as a shadow. Oh God, I never thought about that until now. Something is here in my room. I'm going to clear the energy and meditate and probably finish this tomorrow. <sighs>